first starts on the hi hat, he plays two and four on the hi hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I think it's on the third bar. He does a little one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He play like that, which is the single stroke four. Or one, two, three, four. Just one, two, three, and a four, if you want. The and a, of three, and then four. One, two, three, and a four. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then he starts the tom part. So you notice that the last that last bar of, on the hi hat was quarter notes. One, two, three, four, and then you're gonna move on to to the toms. So on this song, uh, the four and is kind of important because they accent on four and a lot. Okay. So later on in the song, when they play the when he plays the beat, when the guitar riff is already like really going on. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And okay, just so you know that because that's gonna be kind of important even on the intro section. He's gonna act play like accents on the crash on four and and then on two and and four and and then on two four two and three and on all of the ants. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna play real quick that intro part on the toms. Okay, and pay attention. Kick drum is gonna be playing all quarter notes. Something that we call four on the floor. Okay, so why four, four on the floor? Because we're, we're gonna play all four quarter notes of the bar on the kick drum, which is the closest drum to the floor. Okay, so four notes per bar on, on the kick drum on the floor. On the floor. So that's what we call four on the floor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you just keep that going. It's like you turn on, press play on your right foot. And never mind about it again, okay? Just keep that thing going, okay? Right hand, floor tom, all the time. So you're gonna just keep playing uh, eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. And if you can play like that, with that little accent on the downbeat, That would be great, okay? High tom on two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so obviously this is an, an, an electronic drum set, um, but on my electronic drum set, this is a 10 inch tom and this is a 12 inch tom. Uh, he plays, when he re recorded the song, I think he was playing on a 13 and a 14 inch. So it's a fatter, bigger, bigger sound, uh, more, more low end, but don't mind that, okay? Let's just, because we have two toms here, when he recorded, he had like four or five toms, I think four toms, and the toms on his right, the rack toms on his right, were pretty, pretty big and fat, okay? But let's stay with, stick to what we have here. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's the left hand, but, Again, the four and. We're gonna play the four and on the other tom. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four and. One, two, three, four and. One, two, three, four and. Cool? So we gotta put all that together now. I'm gonna play the kick and the, uh, the floor tom here, okay? I'm gonna play those two together. My left hand on two and four on the high top. Slowing it down a little. Pretty 
simple because it's, if you think of it, it's pretty much you're playing eighth notes instead of playing a hi-hat, like when you play like a regular beat. Uh, usually what happens is we, we play uh, like on a rock beat, we play the, the hi-hat, we play eighth notes on the hi-hat and we play the snare on two and four. So it's like we're playing the same thing, except we're just, we're just, we just move our right hand from the hi-hat to the floor tom and our left hand from the snare to the high tom. And the kick drum always, so it's, it would be, it would be like if we were playing this. You just moved right hand to the floor tom, left hand to the high tom. So even though it might sound a little more complicated, it's, it, it really isn't, you know, it's just, it just sounds different, okay? Then when you're playing the high end snare. So now I'm gonna add on four and this guy, okay? Floor uh, tom two with my left hand. Okay, so that's the first thing you gotta do to play this song. You gotta, you gotta really have that thing, this part down. Okay, because um, that's the main thing that's going on. And now, after you have that thing down, we just gotta figure out where to crash, where to play the, the, those crashes, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the whole thing down for it. One more time. One. So, four bar phrasing. This is very important. This song this really helps you visualize it. You know, it's like you're gonna map the song now. And if you have that in mind, it really helps. So four bar phrasing, okay? So think of four bars, four bars. The first three bars are gonna be exactly this, okay, that I just played. So we're gonna play that three times and then our fourth bar it's gonna be different because there's gonna be a crash symbol. So I'm gonna play the first three bars now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, the first three bars. Now the fourth bar, almost the same, except on four and, instead of playing this guy, so we're gonna, on four and, we're gonna to replace Tom two, with this crash and snare. So we're gonna play the crash and snare all together. Okay, so this is how it's gonna sound. So now I'm gonna play just the fourth bar of the four, four bar phrase. Okay, if you have a crash on this side, it makes it a little easier. If you want to crash it with the left, and bring your right hand to the snare, you can do that too, like this. One. Maybe that's easier, maybe that helps you. Uh, if you wanna crash the right symbol, that helps, I mean, that could, that might help. Okay, I'm gonna count it. Okay, so you don't play the kick when you play that crash. You're just gonna play Play the crash with the snare. Oops, I almost missed it. Okay, now I'm gonna play the that four bar phrase, the whole thing. Okay. So that's the, the first part would be to learn just the first bar. That's the first thing you gotta learn. The second thing you gotta learn to play the song is play the first four bar phrase, which is this that I just played, okay? That's second step or step B as you would call it. Now let's move on to step C, which is the second four bar phrase. So we keep the same three bars and the fourth bar we keep, we keep the, the crash on four and, but we're gonna play crash on 
to and as well, okay? So that means that right after the tom, the high tom, we're gonna play crash right after it, okay? On both on both toms, on, at right after two and right after four. So I'm gonna play the let the fourth bar of the second four bar phrase, okay? So here we go. Okay, this might might be a little tricky. You, got, you just gotta be fast. So right after this, you press. Okay, I'm gonna play the the second um, four bar phrase, the whole thing. So you can you can uh, notice that the first four bar phrase he plays one crash, and then on the second four bar phrase he plays two crash, two crashes. So let me play both of those, you know, the, those two cycles. So the first four bar phrase and the second four bar phrase. Next step, step C. Step C, is it? Or step D, uh, I don't know, I got lost. No problem. Next step, okay? Now the third four bar phrase. Now we keep the first three bars the same. Again, we're gonna change the last one, okay? So now we're gonna, we're gonna play three crashes. On two and, on three and, and on four and. You don't even mind now we're gonna play two here, okay? But we're not gonna play four here on the high tom. We're gonna play two here, and then we're gonna crush on on all the other ants, okay? Two and three and four and something like this. So again, just the last bar of the third four bar phrase. One and two and four and. So you're just gonna you're gonna alternate all those crashes and snares with a kick. So, one and two and three and four and. Cool, slow it down. I'm gonna play the whole, the whole thing now, the third four bar phrase. I'm gonna play all three four bar phrase. step, which is the next four bar phrase, there's going to be a slight change. Instead of playing this guy right here, play the snare, okay? So four and, instead of being played on second tom, it's going to be played on the snare, like this. Now I'm talking about the whole, the whole four bar phrase, okay? So before we were playing always these three the same, now we're going to change it, playing the snare on four and. Something like this. Cool. 
just find the whole four, four, bar, four bar phrasing because on the last bar, the only thing that's going to change is that crash. And it's, it's going to be one crash on four and. So you've been, you've been playing four and on the snare. The only thing is just bring your right hand to, to the crash. So I'm going to play the fourth bar of, of the fourth four, the fourth bar of the fourth four bar phrase, okay? All right, so. Just that. So now play the whole four bar phrase. Did you notice that this last bar is just the same as as the you know the the ending of the first four bar phrase the same ending same ending on the album the only difference is that instead of playing a crash he plays a china symbol but since we don't have one you can just crash regularly no difference doesn't make a difference so after that then we're gonna get into the fifth far uh, fifth four bar phrase keep playing the snare but then we're just gonna on four and but we just play two bars. Because the third and the fourth bar are gonna be a build up on the stand floor side. So you're gonna play one. Crash on four and that can be a little tricky because we're so used to playing the crash on one, but you just gotta be, uh, you know, just, just uh, pay attention, okay, and count along if you need to to play that crash on four and. The kick drum, you can keep, keep, it, keep playing the quarter notes. If it helps, you can play the eighth notes along with, with the snare and the floor tom. So like, something like this. Sometimes that, for some people, that's easier, okay? To just play all th three limbs all together. So, I'm gonna play the whole thing now, starting with the, with the hi-hat, okay? Picture the song. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 d